When top level speedrunners go for the world record, they sink hundreds if not thousands of hours into their speed game, optimizing every second of the run. There's an issue though. I don't have hundreds if not thousands of hours to sink into a speed game. I need a YouTube video now! How about I create my own speedrun category? That would mean I instantly set a world record. Welcome to Marriage Percent, a category I came up with for Tomodachi Life, a 3DS social simulation game. The goal of the run is to get two eligible me's on the island to fall in love, and after that, get married. Please like the video and subscribe as it really helps out small channels like mine, and I hope you all enjoy. So, I should probably explain my strategy for the run. When most people play Tomodachi Life, the me's they have strike an even balance between being male or female. My strategy, though, is to have only one male and a ton of women. That way, the women have only one dateable option, and one of them is bound to want to date the man. That's right, baby. This island is gonna be a harem. There's just one issue. Who is gonna be the ultimate hunky man to win over the love of all the ladies? I was in the lab forever, searching for the answer to this question until I found my answer. Our first and only male me on the island will be the host of Total Drama Island, Chris McLean. I probably wasted time during the start of the run creating him, but I really had to get all of his irresistible features correct. After all, Markiplier did copy his style. After creating Chris, his first wish was some food, so I went down to the food mart to spend my entire bank account on veggie burgers. See, if I buy veggie burgers for everyone on the island, including the ladies, they're gonna be deprived of actual meat! So, the desire of some manly meat is gonna go through the roof. After giving Chris his veggie burger, his next wish was some company on the island. Of course, I had to make the next me Chris's longtime best friend and co-host of Total Drama Island, Chef. Now you may be wondering, the Dapper Waffle, why oh why is Chef's me a girl? Well you see, Nintendo hates the gays. Male me's can only be in relationships with female me's and vice versa. So, every me besides Chris has to be female, in order to give him the most romance options possible. So I made Chef, him and Chris became friends, and everything was going great. Until, I realized something. You see, Different shops and areas in Tomodachi life will only unlock with certain conditions being met. Most of them, specifically ones that will let me test romance options, require at least two male me's on the island. One takes even three. I would need these areas to figure out who is the best possible romance option for Chris. So are my harm strats doomed to fail? No. There had to be a way. What do all these harem protagonists have in common? Well, it's that they're all designed to be likable, desirable men for the females in the show to fall in love with, and to an extent, the viewer. What if... we made the opposite? A man so ugly, vile, and putrid to where there's no chance any woman would ever date them. That'd still leave only one option for all the women to date, which means harm strats can live on with multiple men on the island. But who could this ugly man be? I was in the lab forever. Searching for the answer to this- Oh, who am I kidding? It's Dream. Literally, the day after I got this idea, he privated his face reveal. He's basically admitted that this was the right call! I should also probably explain how I got his face in my copy of the game. You see, I decided to use the photo option when creating a me instead of making them manually in order to save time. And on my totally legal way of playing the game, I can upload any photo I want and set it as the camera. So, that's how I got good old Clayton here in such high quality. So I made the me, and I should probably mention, the photo to me software isn't exactly the best. Hi, how are ya? Anyways, I finished up Dream and- Oh wait! I still need one more male me. So I made Dream, but he's fat. After making good old Clayton numero dos, I made sure to isolate them to the top right corner of the apartments to minimize their contact with everyone else. And finally, after creating all the male me's needed, it was time for the women. So, let's go ahead and show off every possible romance option for Chris McLean. We have Andrew Tate, Ed Sheeran, Stano Vacuum, Awojack, Gandhi, Mr. Beast, Jay Schlatt, I am a surgeon, Dr. Han, William Afton, Ben Shapiro, Matt Pat, and finally, Frank Sinatra. Of course, people would be quick to say, I'm the Dabber Waffle, and didn't you need females? You just listened only males. And to that I say, what are you talking about? We have Well, Andrew Tate, Edna Sheeran, Stan Yell Vacuum, Woe Jackina, Don Dina, Miss Beast, Jay Schlatina, Surgeon, she she only wants to be called a surgeon, Milia Mafton, Brenda Shapiro, Maddie Patty, and Frank Sinatra. I, I, I couldn't think of a name, she's just Frank Sinatra. 
Of course, people will still be quick to say, Um, those are so dudes, just with feminine names. They aren't actually real women. You know what? Fine, I added Amaranth. You happy now? I added her specifically because my wallet was running a little dry after buying all the veggie burgers I could. And I was thinking her bathtub streams with her huge hongla bongla doos could rake in some extra cash. Now, we are pretty far into the run, but I actually skipped over a couple extra events that I'd like to bring up really quickly. First of all, the fountain opened which let islanders donate me money. And who was the first in line? That's right, Miss Beast. All the money I earned went directly into buying more veggie burgers, by the way. Second of all, Dream kept wanting to play with me. Yeah, pal, I'm not gonna be your little kitten. Finally, we needed to get Chris to be as romantic as possible. First, I made sure he looked as hot as possible. I think I know exactly the thing. Get over here, Chris! I have a surprise for you! Here's what you're gonna wear. What do you mean you don't like it?! After that, we needed to change his lingo. Oh, I got this. I'll make it really obvious for the run. Here you go. Perfect. Anyways, now that everything has been set in place, we've gotten to the very boring part of the run. You see, before Chris can fall in love with someone, he first needs to be friends with them. Chris became friends with Chef during the start of the run, and they actually did end up becoming best friends. Though, this is probably because Chef is Chris's only friend. At this point in the run, we have to reset the game and move the system clock forward by a day over and over to get Chris to want friendships with other people. Things weren't looking good, as over and over Chris didn't have the orange friend bubble above his head. But then, he finally had one, and he was just throwing a temper tantrum. Everything was looking pretty bad, until a beacon of light appeared. Fat Dream had a friend bubble above his head, but it wasn't for a friend request. Instead, he was dreaming. What could his dream possibly be? Oh. My. Fauci. This could be the end of the run. Marriage percent could mean getting two me's to get married, but it also can include anything eligible, including these two foods and fat dreams, or, uh, dream. Oh my god, the run could be over! Yes! No! <laughs> After that disappointment, more fast-forwarding of the time was done. I'd also like to mention, around this time, I unlocked the rankings board, along with the boy charm ranking statistic. I checked the board, and it showed my plan had worked! Chris was the only desirable male on the island, while Dream had a big fat zero. And since Fat Dream was the only person marked child on the island, it was impossible for him to date anyone. My plan was working! And after some more tinkering with the system clock, this happened. No way! Wait! Wait, 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 wait! Chef? Turns out, it wasn't gonna be Chris who was gonna make the first move. It would be Chef! And knowing Chris was Chef's only potential romance option, everything started to fall into place. I have feelings for Chris. Yes! Yes! Yes, Chef! After telling Chef to be romantical in the concert hall while being all dripped out, it was time for its confession of love. Come on, Chef! Come on! You're the one I want to share the stage of light with. Will you be my co-start? Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Sure. Yes! We had success! Chris now had a relationship with Chef! All that's left now is moving the in-game time forward in order for them to take it to the next level. And on the very next day, this happened. Oh my- No way! No way! This is literally the next day! That's right. On the very next day, Chris wanted to propose to Chef. And I was quite excited. Fun fact, in the world record run for Tomodachi Life Any Percent, which is just marriage percent with the inclusion of having a baby, it took them three extra resets of the game to get the marriage opportunity compared to my run. So this run wasn't totally worthless? Anyways, I prepped Chris for the big moment, which meant proposing at the fireworks show while in his signature maid outfit. Chris and Chef met up, and now I just had to make sure Chris gave his confession at the right moment. And I got it right the first time, and the second time, and the third time. All that was left now was for Chris to confess his love. Come on. My darling, will you marry me? 
Come on. Yes! I did it! I had done it! Chris is now getting married to Chef! All that was left now was to watch the marriage unfold. Wait, why did she, why did Chef gr grow hair? Wait, wait, why did why did Chef grow hair? That's that's not that's that's not supposed to happen. He he's bald. Oh, let's see. There's like Miss Beast, uh, Dream, Staniel, Amaranth, Woman Andrew Tate. I think Jay Latina was there. All there accounted for, and we hit time. The run was complete, clocking in at two hours three minutes and forty six seconds. Could the run be optimized? Well, yeah, if you're a nerd and don't customize your memes to make a funny YouTube video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. So I'm trying to find a photo of MatPat for this Tomodachi Live video, right? What is this?